Hey, what's up guys? Skyler here. Today I'm going to be doing a few upgrades to my old iMac G5. Now I have displayed this in a few other videos before, I've just never really decided to do anything with it since it's technically as upgraded as I really want to get it. But I have finally decided to actually do a few things with it because, as you guys might recall in the previous video, I got a Dell Dimension 3000 with 1GB of DDR RAM. And this guy here has 1.5GB of DDR RAM. So I'm going to therefore upgrade with this Dell official stick, which is kind of cool. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and actually put you guys on the tripod so you can see how to actually disassemble one of these iMac G5s. Probably one of the uh, easiest to disassemble compared to any other iMac. But anyway, I'll resume the video once you guys are on the tripod. All right guys, I'm back, and as you can see here, um, I'm actually gonna move my iMac just a tiny bit down. Let me just double check that's in the frame. Yes, it is, don't want it to be out. So this is one of, like I said, the easier iMacs to disassemble. So you're going to actually want to put it down on its face. And now let me kind of pick up the computer. Got this things heavy. Now on the bottom here, um, let me make sure you're in the frame actually. Sorry about this. This is a little hard to work with. Basically there are on the bottom, let me move it over, there are three screws. You have one here, one here, and one here. You're going to want to loosen those actually quite a bit. And it's rather interesting how these work because they're not normal screws. They're actually like these little mechanisms kind of. So I figure I'd mention that. Um, so this might take a little bit, I'm not sure. So, right, so I'm gonna end up, so just loosen them until, until they kind of lock up. And like I said, these screws do not actually come out. They just kinda, kinda, they just really act like these little kind of mechanisms, which is actually kind of cool how it works. I'll show you how it works on the inside of the computer probably. So now, just go on ahead. And let's get that done with. And then once that's done and loosened up, the whole entire back of the iMac actually just kind of comes off like this in a little stand. So I'm going to end up kind of standing this over here. So as you guys can kind of see, we have that over there. I'm sorry, my tripod's locked, so it's not necessarily the best thing. Here's the inside of the iMac. Now, as you might notice, up here at the top is where your RAM and hard drive is. So I'm going to go on ahead and turn that around a bit so it's a little closer up to the camera. And just don't hate it isn't brain. Here's the RAM right here, actually, which is kind of cool. And I believe it's PC32. Yep. So that means that it's PC, so it's PC 3200U RAM, actually no, uh, yeah, PC 3200U RAM, which I'll have it up. So if you ever do want to upgrade your RAM on your iMac G5, my phone is retarded sometimes, let me see, can I get this to focus? I can't. Anyway, so it's PC 3200U RAM, which is a DDR 400 megahertz RAM. Here it is right here, and where's our... It's our one, that's our one gigabyte stick, however, you have to kind of move it out of the way. It's kind of cool how come the RAM lays on its side like this, so, as you guys can see, you can take that out kind of like that. Now, this is the RAM stick here that I'm trying to get at, because this is only a 512 meg stick, so I'm going to end up just kind of, you actually have to loosen kind of both of these sides, and then you just kind of pull the RAM out like that, and there you go. So, whatever, <laughs> this is going to look so strange. Okay, so then we're going to actually end up just kind of sticking in a RAM at a bit of an angle, which is... A little easier said than done. And you just want to push down until these little black tabs in the side kind of lock in on the RAM as you can kind of see there. Actually, hold on, let me adjust my camera a little bit better. Oh God, I'm so sorry about this. This footage is pretty bad. So here you go. And as you can see, then what you can do is you can just simply take the other RAM stick and just stick it in the other slot and you're good to go. Now, if you need to upgrade your, now if you need to like replace or upgrade the hard drive, did I put that in the wrong way? I sure did. Basically, then um, it's pretty simple to do the hard drive. All you got to do is just take out. Um, well, let's see. I'm, you're not, actually not in frame of that. So, hard drive does sit right up above the RAM, and therefore you have. I believe there's one screw here. There's. I think there's one screw right here, and then you have these two. Actually, all you need to do is take out these two screws here and these two screws, and then you can actually slip out the hard drive like that. So all you have to do is just mess with uh, this side here on here. So that's how you replace the hard drive if you ever do choose to do that. Let me zoom out a little bit and I'll make my camera a little more straight. So now, now as you can actually see how this works with the screws and stuff is pretty cool. Um, I think it's, is it up in here? No. I forgot. I turned the computer around. Let me turn it back around normally. Let me move this out of the way. On the bottom actually, if you look really closely kind of along where my finger is, when I actually go on ahead to... Uh, loosen and tighten this screw here it actually moves like this whole entire kind of kind of mechanism here as you can kind of see I'm moving that with my screw the little screw point I think there's one in the middle somewhere I can't remember exactly what it does but just thought I'd mention that it's kind of cool so then what you're gonna want to do once you are done you're gonna want to take your iMac thing and kind of 
set it up top here like this. Then you're going to want to kind of just push this down, kind of wiggle it a little bit, make sure everything's good. And then I recommend giving it a good little push and then just kind of simply start tightening the screw a little bit. And now I think it should be good. Now I'd recommend tightening the two on the edge first and then getting your one in the middle. That would probably be the most effective way. And let's see. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop the video here. I know this clip's getting a little long, but that's how you upgrade the RAM in an iMac if it, or a G5 iMac if it matters. Intel iMacs are much more different, even though they look pretty similar. Thought I'd mention, but anyway, I'll resume the video once the iMac's all hooked up and stuff like that. All right, guys, so I'm back. As you see, I have my iMac hooked up on my addresser, which is rather tall, but anyway, so. Now, as you will see, it should power on here pretty soon. Actually, let me get my tripod once more. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, I think. That should be pretty good right there. So uh, loop time is rather good on this guy since it does have a SATA one and a half gig bus. And I might eventually do a, a SSD upgrade on this. I'm not sure. For now, I think with a normal hard drive, it's pretty fast. I might take the hard drive out of this guy though since it's a 500 gigabyte drive. It's really lightly used. I think it's a 2010 hard drive with a three gigabyte interface. So it would work nicely in my Mac Pro, which I do still have. So that's pretty nice. But like I said, the boot time is pretty good. So let's see if the RAM is being detected. It should be just fine, especially if it booted. So now this guy is running a leopard. I think you guys, I don't, I don't know, I think you guys have seen this before in a few other videos. I know I've used it a few times and I don't want to join the network. Okay. Yep, two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Or DDR SD RAM, my bad. Alright, so um, let's see. So let's go to our memory. That's kind of making, That's kind of making some strange noise. Okay, so that means that uh, both of the manufacturer and stuff is unknown. However, in ATA, we have that. And then for a hard drive, we do have a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I just don't have the keyboard hooked up to this guy. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you disassemble an iMac and upgrade the RAM and hard drive. And also, just, I guess, a quick little update on that. And also, guys, I should be getting more videos out soon. Once again, I'm sorry for the lack of updates. Hopefully I'll be showing you how to install Mac OS Sierra on an unsupported Mac. That would be kind of cool to have, but just got to get my friend to bring his computer over. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Also, guys, thought I'd mention this. Um, here is uh, the, or the uh, activity monitor. It does even detect an activity monitor, so that's how you for sure know that the RAM is actually being used. Thought I'd mention that as well.